welcome back to Bucket List Homestead. If you're new here, my name is Lynn. Welcome. If you've been here before, welcome back. And it's Sunday, so that means it's time to share a craft with you. And this is one of my favorites. And it is very easy, very easy, um, budget friendly. Just about everything I'm going to be using today, I actually got from the Dollar Tree. Um, I'll talk more about that in a second. But I actually made three of these last year and I'm making a fourth one uh, today because I want one more and I want a bigger one. Before I show you what we're making, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. And if you haven't already subscribed, please hit the subscribe button and join our Bucket List Homestead family. We'd love to have you join us. We have a great time here. And the most wonderful, the easiest way you can help me grow my channel is if you share my um, videos and my channel on your social media with your friends and family. It helps more than you know, just like hitting that thumbs up helps a lot. <laughs> um, just sharing it and letting people know that you like my content, that helps more than I can say. Okay, so what are we making today? We are going to be making these beautiful Christmas trees. I love them and you can get as elaborate as you want or keep it a little less, um, a little simple, um, which I, I love the neutrals on this. Um, this is a wonderful yarn. I made a lot of things with this yarn, including our Christmas stockings um, that I crocheted a couple years ago and I had just enough left to make this beautiful tree. Um, I love them and we're actually going to make the biggest one <laughs> that I have, then even bigger than this one. So let's get to it. So like I said, everything to make these, you can get at the Dollar Tree. Now, the yarn I'm using today, I did not buy at the Dollar Tree, but they have lots of yarn there and you can make your tree any color you want. It is your tree. <laughs> um, but I happen to have this yarn. This is yarn that I actually made myself a sweater coat with and it was horrible to crochet with. The fuzz and the mess that was left while I was making that sweater was horrible and I have just enough left and it's nice and thick. This is the thicker yarn. Um, I think this is gonna cover better um, where it's a bigger tree, I'm hoping. If not, I do have this beautiful green um, left too from a project that I had, um, I believe that was a, yes, I made a baby sweater set from that um, and they kind of match pretty close. So if I don't have enough of one, maybe I'll fill some in with the other. I don't know. We'll, we'll see when we get there. So you're going to need yarn. This is the poster board you can get at Dollar Tree. I'm actually going to be using two for this project today, but all the other ones, I just used one. Um, if you wanted to make a really big one, and I'm thinking of it, like a hip, you know, up to my hip size, you could buy the really big poster board, um, you know, that you get for school projects. Again, at Dollar Tree, they have them. You could even, you could use that if you wanted. And you're going to need some hot glue, some scissors, and some kind of decoration. Now, for the top of this, I'm actually going to use this little angel. And I think I'm going to leave her plain because I just... Um, unstained, unpainted. I just think she's beautiful just the way she is. So we're going to use that. I uh, And I have some of this. Again, I got it all at Dollar Tree, um, including that angel. She came in a pack with like some wooden Santas, a sleigh, a stocking. Um, there was one other thing, maybe Christmas trees. And they were like in a pack and I got them there. I'm going to use these silver um, jingle bells that are on um, like grapevine. And I think I might use some of this. I haven't decided yet. And for this tree, I'm thinking of adding some battery operated lights that I got at Dollar Tree. Aren't they pretty? We're gonna see. I don't know, the others don't have lights on them, but I'm gonna see what I think about this one. So, okay. As I said, I'm gonna need two because I wanna make, I only used one to make the biggest tree that I already have. So I'm gonna probably need two make the size I'm looking for. So we're gonna glue two of these together. I've taken the time to put some craft paper down, but I didn't, so I'm just gonna try and not make a mess. So I'm just gonna take my hot glue and run a bead of it right along here. You could use double-sided tape too. I just can't find mine. I just bought some and you think I could find it? <laughs> nope. So we're just gonna glue it. Oh yes, I got these at the Dollar Tree too. 
because I burn myself constantly with the hot glue. Oh yeah, those work great. You're gonna take this and you're gonna roll it into a cone. That's not what I want at all. Let's try this again. <laughs> I'm hoping I can make the really big one, but maybe maybe it's not gonna work the way I want. I'm gonna draw try and roll it a little bit looser. It's there, I think that might be working. Okay, so we're just gonna put a dab of glue right here. And then we obviously want this to lay flat, so we're gonna trim all this excess off. good the way I want it so we're just gonna leave that and we're gonna start on the yarn so I have a little bit of unevenness here on the top so I'm actually gonna cut that off too not that you're gonna see this because we are gonna cover this with yarn here in just a second okay I'm gonna lay it this way just to cover the hole now we got it so I'm just gonna Put a little bit over the top here just to cover the hole. Trim it. And it's okay if you go over a bit because we are going to cover that when we go around. Okay, that's pretty covered. I'm not too worried. We can fill that in when we get going. So we're going to start from the bottom. And we are just gonna wrap and glue, wrap and glue. Putting glue every so often. Christmas tree, oh Christmas tree, thy leaves are so unchanging. Oh Christmas tree, oh Christmas tree, thy leaves are so unchanging. Try and keep them as tight as you can. See, I got ahead of myself there with the glue, but I'll just go back in and fill that in with the next row right here. And depending on how thick you want it, um, with the other yarn on the other trees, I wrapped a couple of layers, but where this is thicker, I think I'm gonna be able to get away with just the one. I might do two, I don't know. So you just keep going. Okay. And when you get near the top, you're gonna find you probably have to use more glue. I have to tell you, so last year, um, my white, the white one I made, that little white one was my favorite. It was velvet yarn. I have to say, I think I might have a new favorite. I am loving how this is looking. It is so pretty. The yarn may be awful to work with, but it is beautiful and it's soft and fluffy. But oh, I'll be glad when I use the rest of this up. <laughs> so we're getting near the top, see now, where we're just gonna cover up our pieces we laid crosswise. There we go. Need just a little bit of glue there. The hot glue might be hard to do with little ones, but boy, you could do up a bunch of these and let them decorate them any way they wanted. I think it would be fun. 
You could even get some of those like 3D stickers from Michaels or any of, even the dollar store has them. And they could stick the stickers on if, so you don't have to worry about the hot glue. Okay, we're almost near where I'm gonna stop. Even with this on, by the way, I've burnt myself a couple times. <laughs> okay, I think we're gonna trim this right there. Now this is where you go and you look and you see if there's any white showing that you want to cover. I do see some there, so I think I am gonna go ahead and do another row around. just so it's nice and filled out. Jingle bells ringing in my ear Jingle bell a sound that's oh so dear Frosty the snowman is all around town Going around probably four or five times I figure I have all this yarn I might as well use it <laughs> so there's our tree I think it's looking beautiful and just every so often take a step back I mean I could wrap this probably five more times with all the yarn I have but I just want to make sure that basically I can't see any white and I don't anymore and this is the fun part so now you're gonna decorate it and I think we will put the lights on. So I'm thinking about gluing the battery pack on. Let me see how this works first. Before I, before I glue the battery pack inside, I'm gonna wrap the lights around a couple of times and see how it looks. Still got quite a bit here. Might have to go and then go back down again, I think. Okay, before we glue that, let's see what it looks like. Oh, I like it. I think we will put the lights on this one. So I'm just gonna adjust them. All right, so obviously I don't wanna glue the part where you get the can. So this is the side where the batteries go in. So we're gonna glue the back side of this. A little bit of hot glue and I need another. I think I've lost count, I should have count kept track of how many glue sticks I went through but I think we're I'm at six now <laughs> they're just the little ones and we are gonna stick that where it's easy so I just stuck that in there where it's easy to get the light off and on hold that there for a sec okay so now we are going to take our jingle bells And I've cut some of them in a little bit smaller strips just so it's easier. And I think I'll start at the top with this one. And this is nice and bendy. I did not um, actually glue this on last year because I found I didn't have to. Except maybe, I mean, the very, very end you might have to. But I think if I can just bend it up and tuck it into one of the rings, layers there. See? And I don't have to glue that. So... Okay, I'm going to... some color oh I know what I'll do we're gonna wrap let's wrap some string around and we will start at the top you can get this at dollar stores I forgot I actually got this at Michael's I bought it last year after Christmas it's actually Baker's twine um, but they have it this year again. They have it every year and they have it in different colors. They have it in gold and white. They have it in green, red. I just, I liked this one with the red and the green and the little bit of the neutral color that's in there, the khaki. Um, I never thought I would like neutrals at Christmas time, but I really 
liked them last year. They're, it's kind of a more of a rustic farmhouse look, and I love farmhouse. <laughs> they say it's not as popular anymore, but I, I don't care. I think it's good that it's not as popular because if people are going to start selling their farmhouse decorations, I can get them for cheaper because I still like to decorate with it. But then I don't follow trends. Whatever I like, I like. And I'm going to wrap a lot this around a couple of times just because I want as much color as I can get. Always the last thing to put on. Is she going to be big enough? Hmm, that hole is still pretty big. I think I'm going to put a little more yarn at the top of her. Maybe. I'm going to. I'm not just winging it here. I'm going to see if I just bunch this up. Just to help build that top part. But I think. There. You can't even tell. That's so one good thing about this yarn. Oh, there. That's better. Okay. So we're going to put a little bit of glue on the bottom of her. And on you go. I'm just going to hold her there for a sec. Okay, I love this. So I'm going to put them over with the other ones and I will show you how they all look together. Uh, I, I love this. Putting the lights on are cute because it adds a little more texture and another layer because they almost look like icicles to me. If I can get them all pointing down. So, and there they are. I love them. I think oh, it, they look great together. Um, I actually loved these so much. I made a set of these for Valentine's Day. I used more of the white velvet yarn, pink velvet yarn, and red velvet yarn and decorated them with little heart, wooden hearts. And they turned out beautiful. But yeah, so there they are. And let's see how it looks with the lights off. So pretty. And I think I am actually going to leave these on my table for Christmas. I got this um, amazing tray that I have been loving at Hobby Lobby on our trip to the States this summer in like the 90% off section. I think I paid three or $4 for that and it had a price tag of like 60 on it, which I never would have paid. So I, I love them. Let me know down in the comments what you think of them and if you are gonna try making these. And there we have it. As you can see, Christmas is starting here in our house, Christmas decorating. We are well on our way <laughs> to the best time of the year, my absolute favorite holiday. Thanks for joining me. And until next time, take care, God bless, and we'll see you all soon.